Hey, it's Landy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a network marketer and I love talking about all kinds of different stuff on here from health to business to whatever. And today I'm going to talk about becoming financially independent. So I'm going to give you three tips to become financially independent. My first tip is to create a financial plan, establish clear goals and define your financial object objectives. You're going to want to budget your money wisely and, you know, definitely put back into an emergency fund. Everybody needs an emergency fund. So I don't care if it's $5 a month that you put back, but put back for emergency guys. You never know what's going to happen there. Number two is invest for your future. Preferably start young or start early, you know, set up a 401k and IRA, you know, diversify your investments. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. I need to give that disclaimer right now, but mutual funds or what are they called? They're not dividend index funds, index funds, Warren Buffett, Look up Warren Buffett and do what he does. He buys index funds. So, um, you know, if you don't know a lot about investing, do that. And, you know, but definitely invest because, you know, you want your money working for you instead of you always working for your money. And, you know, it's good to have a side hustle. You know, I do it. I do a full time, like I don't even call it a side hustle, but if you work, you might want to pick up a side hustle. And I have a great way to, you know, make money if you're interested in that comment and I will get you a link to check out some information. My third tip is to manage your debt wisely, preferably get out of debt um, if at all possible. I mean, I know in today's world it's hard, but reduce your high interest debt, do the snowball effect where you, you pay off um, you know, the, you can pay off them in order, like highest interest rate first or lowest balance first, and then take the payment you were doing and add it and keep, just keep paying it off until it's gone. Use debt strategically. The only kind of debt you should be using would be to make money. So a business or, you know, real estate, you know, some kind of good debt that there's good debt and bad debt. So read that book by Robert Kiyosaki, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He talks all about this kind of stuff. Um, also, you know, track your credit score, make sure that you're making your payments if you do have credit and, you know, you are keeping it manageable. I like just one, two cards, pay them off each month. Um, and, you know, try to keep that debt down. I mean, all of us, we have mortgages and things like that. I get that. Uh, but definitely to get debt free would be my third tip to get financially independent. So achieving financial independence is a journey. You know, it often takes time and discipline. There's no such thing as overnight. Uh, so many people think they're going to like win the lottery with something, but it really is just about consistency and putting back and just really have a fund that you're putting back into that you don't even look at. Don't think of it as, you know, I'm saving up for a rainy day. Literally, you need to just not even realize you have it there because one day it's going to grow if it's working for you into something that is going to help you become financially independent. Um, so... Again, I wish you all financial independence. You know, hope that you reach all your aspirations and dreams. And if you enjoyed my content today, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor, but these are my three tips to coming financially secure. Peace out.